Now, according to the normal way of thinking about the, uh, the Christian religion, uh, we cannot identify with Jesus. We have to imitate Jesus, but to say, I am God, as Jesus said, is for us uh, blasphemy. Mm -hmm. However, in the Thomas Gospel, Jesus says, He who drinks from my mouth will become as I am, and I shall be he. Wow. That's Buddhism. Mm -hmm. We are all manifestations of Buddha consciousness, only don't know it. And the Buddha, the word means the one who waked up, bud, to wake, woke up to the fact that he was Buddha consciousness. And we are all to do that. To wake up to our Jesus within us, this is blasphemy in the normal way of thinking in Christianity, but it's the very essence of Gnosticism and of the Thomas Gospel. And heaven, that uh, desired goal of most people, is, is within us? All the gods, all the heavens, all the worlds are within us. They are magnified dreams. And what dreams are, are manifestations in image form of the en energies of the body in conflict with each other. And uh, that's all myth is, a manifestation in uh, symbolic images, metaphorical images of the energies within us in conflict with each other. So when we dream, are we fishing in some vast ocean of mythology that it we... It goes have... down and down and down. What the myth uh, has to provide, I mean, just on this immediate level of life instruction, the pedagogical aspect of myth, it has to give life models. And the models have to be appropriate to the possibilities of the time in which you're living. And our time has changed and it's changed and changed and continues to change so fast that what was proper 50 years ago is not proper today. So the virtues of the past are the vices of today. And that's why it's ridiculous to go back to the old time religion. It belongs to another age, another people, another set of human values, another universe. No one had any idea. The world was a little three-layer cake and the world consisted of something a few hundred miles around the near eastern centers there. No one ever heard of the Aztecs. The world changes, then the religion has to be transformed. There are a number of services that myths serve. The basic one is opening the world to the dimension of mystery, to realize the mystery that underlies all forms. But then there comes the cosmological aspect of myth, seeing that mystery as manifest through all things. So the universe becomes, as it were, a holy picture. You are always addressed to the transcendent mystery through that. But then there's another function, and that's the sociological one, of validating and maintaining a certain society. But then there's a fourth function of myth, and this is the one that I think today everyone must try to relate to. That's the pedagogical function, how to live a human lifetime under any circumstances. Myth can tell you that.